What up everybody, it's your boy Plug and Play coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be speculating a little bit on DLC 1 Resistance for Call of Duty World War 2 Nazi Zombies. We're going to do that by making you put on your thinking cap. So we're going to go back to history class, we're going to go back to theology class. It's going to get real boring, so if you guys don't want any of that shit, go ahead and close out the video. But before you do, hit that like, comment, subscribe button down below. Help a small channel out in the big YouTube universe show some love. Now, for those of you guys that remember the DLC 1 Resistance trailer, you were given a map just like this. And that little iron cross up there at the top is actually in the North Sea of uh, Northern Germany. And it is an island called Helgoland. Now, there's been a couple of videos on YouTube. You may have seen them already speculating on the island. Plenty of pictures around the final Reich giving clues to DLC 1 and being on that island, so we can pretty much confirm that that is the island we are going to be on. What you might not know though, guys, is that this island, Helgoland, has a very, very rich history that we're going to dive into right now and hopefully give us a bunch of clues into DLC 1 Resistance. Now, here's a screenshot image of what Helgoland looks like currently. This is courtesy of Google Earth. You can pull it up right now. Just go to earth.google.com, type in Helgoland. This is the island you're going to see and how it looks in its present day form. However, in the medieval days, map making was very archaic. It wasn't the best. This is a map of what the ancient medieval people thought that Helgoland looked like. So I'm going to throw that up for you right there. Now you're going to notice a couple of weird things, specifically little symbols and stuff that mark temples. Now we also know that in DLC, I'm sorry, in Final Reich and in World War II Zombies as it sits right now, they are relying very heavily on ancient myths and medieval um, lore and mysteries surrounding fictional demigod type of characters. Specifically Barbarossa and those um, certain knights of his, um, the ravens waking them up, all that stuff. It relies very heavily on German and Nordic mythology. Now, if Sledgehammer Games' creative department and the DLC team stick to the original format, we can count on that same concept of ancient Nordic and German mythology in DLC 1. And if they do that on Helgoland, <clears throat> logically, if you dive into the mysteries and the ancient lore of Helgoland, you will come across Faustite and Fosta. Now, these are gods and goddesses specifically that were worshipped on this island in the medieval times. Also said to inhabit Helgoland in the medieval times are the Fossegrim. Now, I might not pronounce this right. I'm not sure. The Fossegrim, the Fossegrim. These were little kind of nymph, um, fairy type of creatures that played the harp, the violin. They played certain types of instruments to lure travelers to their death and drown them in pools of water or what have you. Now, that's very interesting because using that setup, we already have a boss fight with the deities. We have these, like, pest zombies in World War II zombies. This could be the kind of pest zombie that's in this map. Um, but I thought the myths and the legends surrounding these gods and these little deities were very interesting. Now, as part of my research, guys, I looked into a book called Teutonic Mythology. And we know how the creators of the Final Reich loved to use actual real-world mythology in their works specifically here on the final reich so if they continue with that tradition of using real world mythology we already know the god and goddesses there's a passage right here i'm throwing up on the screen that references the goddess on the island of helgoland now specifically in this passage it says there is an old map of helgoland obviously which i've just shown you guys on which a templum foste is located now, the Temple of Fauste is actually, it's just a simple translation of the Temple of Fauste, which is this goddess right here. Now, that is further corroborated when you take a look at the McClintock Biblical Cyclopedia and the reference to Fauste. She's a North German mythological goddess worshipped by the Frisians and stands in close union with Herthia. She is has a Temple of Fausta on Helgoland. So, if you go deep enough into the internet, guys, you can find this information. It's very cryptic. It's hidden. Um, they gave us the island. Um, all you got to do is do your research and just do a little bit of digging, do some Google translating, and you will find all this information yourself. 
The links will be down in the description to all of these findings so you can go and find them yourself and, and save yourself all the work that I already did. If you guys have any more input, what you think of this theory of, you know, the god and the goddess on Helgeland and these little um, Fosse Grims and these little sprites that kind of lure you to your death, I'm very intrigued. I love what they did on Final Reich with the Barbarossa angle and using the ancient Nordic and Germanic mythologies. Uh, I thought it was a very nice touch, and I hope to God they continue with that on Helgeland. I hope to God that they continue being as precise and staying as close to real-world mythology as you can. So like I was going to say, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Let me know what kind of research you come up with. If you agree, if you disagree, if you have any other ideas, let me know. Let's have a nice discussion about this, see where we can go. In the meantime, hit that like, comment, subscribe button down below. Help a small channel out in the big YouTube universe. Very quickly creeping up on 500 subs. Let's make that happen by the end of the year, guys. My end of the year goal on this channel is 500 subscribers. So do your part. Click those buttons. You guys enjoy the rest of your night. Peace. These odd bullets I'll have to resort to stabbing. Yeah.